Ultra Flame Zone. I was carrying that. Karen's in the lots of flame zone. There we go. It's not enough oh, flame, Karen. You need team, ultra man. flame zone. Ultra flame. The coffee. <laughs> Meepo. <gasps> Arc Warden. No, that's bit. Arc Warden is one hundred percent getting banned. Oh that's yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, for sure. No chance. <laughs> There's a Medusa in the as well. I wonder if they'll Ross will look at. Ah. Uh, uh, team. team. No, never mind. No, no, Medusa's not getting through, and Ross is in the game. No chance. Absolutely no chance. I mean, there's some heroes which just have to be banned if you want to win the game. It's like yeah. the um, the, bu the old Diamond Bulldog Prophet man. memes. And there, is, there is some truth into it, isn't there? You think you you can you can counter it. You can't, so you ban it. Yeah, it's like that meme, yeah. Yeah, every time. Especially with Medusa, because Medusa farms so insanely quickly. And it's just a lot of effort to counter. You can't be bothered. The counter is shutting down her team so that she has the 1v5. That's the counter to me. Because yeah. <laughs> you're then... not going to stop them farming. <laughs> not easily, anyway. Not uh, easily. You either have to commit a lot to it, in which case you probably lose your side lanes, or you just say, you know what, let's just dumpster your side lanes. and Yeah, get so fed you can just run her over. Pick. Yeah, we'll deal with the snake later. Shakiro! Uh, it, it might not be Drekken. Drekken might be playing a core. Oh, we got quick picks this time. Rex, Skyrath, Mage. Oh my god, wow. next one is straight away. Slada. <laughs> Because Ross is drafting, maybe he's like, right, we're going to do this, this, and this. <laughs> he knows, he knows straight away. He's already identified which heroes he wants. Surely it has to be Drek and Jakiro. There's no way yep. he'd let anyone else play. He would let him play, no. Jakiro. Leave my Jakiro alone, it's mine. I mean, he is Because it, it would be Oli mids, Five usually, and there's Jack S, who's like the carry. So, mm. and there's either Tom or Cosmic, who's the off laner. Do you, it's... Oh, there's no way Ross will give up his favourite hero. Good news for the die though, no more fling in this pool. Cap it. Hey. <laughs> no, no, but Jack's like, no, how am I going to play my fourth consecutive morphling loss? <laughs> God damn. I mean, there's, there's there's two sides of the coin. There's perseverance, isn't there? Try and try and try again. We tell ki We tell people that, but then there's also the whole, you know, you're crazy if you keep doing the same thing expecting it to work, and it never does. <laughs> yeah. How many times do you have to pick him before you realise, not quite working out for you? All right, Ollie's taking his time though. He's seen the Slard or Skyrath. Skyrath's gonna, probably going to be a support. Earthshaker. Okay. I like Earthshaker, can never complain. Lots of CC, lots of team fight. Yeah. Even Jakira like Earthshaker. I don't think you're going to put those two in the same lane, are you? I you won't, but really just in, in the game though, that's... That's already a lot of crowd control coming out from your your post four and five, uh, a lot of Ten damage as well. Remaining. So that's nice. Earthshaker has to be at least post four because he needs that blink dagger before five you know forty remaining. minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you can't run ES five. I definitely think it's more like Radiant team pick. Juggernaut. All right, they're giving they're giving Jackie very safe carry this time. Juggernaut. <laughs> well, you say Juggernaut safe, but uh, Juggernauts do have a tendency sometimes to go a little bit too all in. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's a safe carry. Somebody's recently been saying, is it Trekin who's who said that just Ten Juggernaut isn't remaining. a good like carry anymore like that. It was, it's somebody in, in BVGS. I think he's still a good carry. His Aghanims is really strong right. and he wins games still. Team pick. Team pick. So for, for me, Juggernaut is both a safe and not like he's we never going to be amazing in a. It's never you never like completely wins a game. But he never loses the game in a sense. Like he's he's decent in every lane. He's just a very safe character. Yeah, I, yeah, I would say it's a very safe yeah. pick. I think because of his Blade Fury, which is one of the strongest spells in the early game, he's a carry who can win his lane. And then with the healing ward, his team can just push. They can take Roche. They can take objectives. You know, he's yeah. Yeah, he, he snowballs well. I think Ross is going for the drafting strat where he doesn't use as or as little reserve time as possible. They've only used three seconds and they've got four picks. So he can spend almost three minutes thinking about his fifth, fifth pick. Gone for Weaver. I, we think it's going to be maybe a core this time because we've got Ogre and Skyrath. So, so maybe just pause one, Weaver. Yeah, and Ollie's on the other team, so it's not likely going to be Sky Mid. Yeah, yeah I, I, I would doubt it. Yeah, yeah. I like Sky Mid, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure this is the game for it. It's quite hard to utilize Sky against Juggernaut anyway. But we'll see. Maybe it could work. It's always a strong hero. 
quite a, quite a good lane winner as well, Skyrath. Unless you're against a certain hero like maybe Puck or or Anti Mage, you can pretty much guarantee a win lane. Oh, there's the Beastmaster. It was banned last time. Yes. Feels like a thumb hero, Beastmaster. I know he like he likes Chen, so I know he likes sort of micro heroes. Beastmaster's not the heaviest of micro, but there's a Does little. Does he bit like Chen? We saw one Chen game. <laughs> No, no, he does. He, he was saying, because I was in on his team for that game, and he was saying in the draft that he used to play a lot of Chen. Oh, did he? So he actually had a Chen picker. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I Very like Chen. Nice. I like to see Chen. Chen is an interesting hero to see. Probably some insight I shouldn't give for future Thumb drafts, but there we go. <laughs> no, it's fine. And Leshrac, we saw some successful Leshrac play uh, last time. I think we've yeah, seen a was, Ross Leshrac. Was Lestrac. it Roids? Was, oh, was it, was it Ross? I think, I think we've seen we've seen Roids on. I think we've seen Ross on it as well. He did a very good uh, mid Leshrac. And now we've seen Ollie. I'm, I'm expecting it's going to be a Leshrac mid. And really uh, then the rest is pretty self-explanatory. I think it's going to be Juggernaut with Chikiro and Five Beastmaster with Earthshaker. Really. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Right. Two minutes left. How long are they going to take? They, what do they need? Mid laner, I guess? A good mid laner, yeah. Something to go up against Leshrac. I don't think you want Razor against Leshrac, do you? Gyro. You can take all this damage, but who cares? Gyro. Necro. <laughs> Necro could be the pick. I think Necro might Pudge. struggle. Pudge, yeah. Pudge. Ross Pudge? Ross yeah, Ross Pudge. Pudge. That would be Ross great. Or Roids Meepo? It. Against Earthshaker and Jakira. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, no, that's, that's the problem, right? It's against the, the supports do very well into Meepo. It's a bit scary. I'd like to see Pudge, but I reckon it, it's Pudge or, or Necro, my, my call. We'll see. It is Ross. Ross does like his Pudge mid. He does? Mid battle, lol. No, I don't Pudge. think so. <laughs> it is actually not. It's it's not a bad twist. Other than the, the, the Beastmaster like, summons, it's not a bad Pudge game. I think it's a good Pudge game, yeah. Could work. You can easily pick off most of those heroes with your hook. None of them you have any mobility. Fire off as well. Dismember into Mystic Flare. Yeah, it's a guaranteed, guaranteed kill. kill. You're right. Oof. They do have the long range interrupts of Ice Path and Fisher, but. I mean, Juggernaut is the only hero who can kind of survive if he gets hooked. Come on, do it. Ah, oh, Necro, okay. Yeah. I, I, did, I did say that was my second choice, yeah. but it's Necro safer. Necro is safe against Juggernaut, but it's not actually that safe against the rest of the Dire team. No. I think that the Necro might actually just die in stun durations. Oh yeah, he gets um, picked up, you know, stunned by Earthshaker or by Beastmaster, he's dead. You know, Juggernaut will ult him. Uh, all Juggernaut really needs to do this game is pick a, oh, what's that item called? Nullifier. You nullify mm -hmm. Necro, you can ult him every time. Yeah, completely counters the Necro. It's, it's unfair. I reckon it's Ghost Shroud shouldn't be nullifiable, but you know. It's what the game is, so you have to build it. Yeah. All gets ready for a swim. Do you, <laughs> do you think the they're going to do safe lane Weaver, or do you think Ross will go mid on Weaver? Um, I would, I'd rather have a safe lane Weaver than a safe lane Necrophos. I don't think that does really that much. Necrophos wants to get some levels, get a scythe up and stuff. He doesn't need to just sit AFK farm. So I'd like to see Necrophos mid, but because it's Ross, we're not sure. Yeah. Maybe they'll swap, possibly. I can't see safe lane. I mean, mid Weaver, is that... Is that gonna work? <gasps> it's Cosmic Chikiro! Oh my god, I bet Drekken's crying. Thought Surely he knew this. <laughs> Does Ross cry? Does he have the emotion of cry? He's like, okay. I don't know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there, there is, there is what is it, Chikirich, so, you know, like... You think he's internally crying? Yeah, he just internally doesn't... crying. Yeah. Keeps his emotions locked down. <laughs> but actually, he's, he's crying, he's sobbing. Yeah, yeah. He's muted his mic. Why have you taken my Jagiro? I, th I think he'll manage. I'd like to see um, Drekken on Earthshaker. I don't like the starting build. I'm not going to lie. Boots and two clarities. That doesn't do it for me. I'm sorry. But like, that's... You've got zero regen. What? Right, what are people talking yeah. about already? They were scared of the Pudge and Ross and Picket. Quite a common four start going boots first. I don't like it. I really don't like it. I feel like you're 400, what is it? No, it's 500 gold boots of speed for 45 move speed. Just buy a wind lace, right? It's basically the same, and you can still afford tangos, salve, Lucky mangos. Gold. Or you can get 25 extra speed, and basically you have to start with no region. Doesn't do it for me. But uh, that's just my opinion anyway. To battle. Of course, uh, maybe other people have opinions. I haven't watched that carefully what the pro players are building, so I couldn't really compare. And let's see what happens for First Blood. Looks like it is an Ollie Leshrac mid. And what were we thinking? It was going to be Necro mid. Yeah, Necro mid. Okay. Yeah. 
So Max opting for the block over fighting for a rune? But you don't do a lot as Necro. The battle begins. You don't want to fight into Juggernaut for the rune, do you? You definitely don't. There's a lot of damage you're taking. Wow, they're actually just man-fighting Jack. And they come out on top. Can you believe that? He has Blade Fury level 1. And they go, nah, we're just going to man-fight you. And they actually get the first blood. That is incredible. Fair play to that. They almost lose a courier. Oh, though. Rich is trying to go for the courier, but <laughs> Christian has an orb of venom. Oh, hey, Rich, Rich might lose his own courier. No, I think he's fine. Look at JCA. Bloodlust yourself. Go on. You orb might of venom. kill him, you know. Oh, no, the, the dual so. breath slow is enough for Rich to get away here. Not sure about oh, the TP He's turning there. right now. Don't fight him. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he doing auto attacks? You, you can't trade with him. He's got 6.7 health regen. That was actually an incredible play because Blade Fury is such a strong early game move. It does 85 times 5, what is that, 425, is that right? 425 damage at level 1. But Slardar and Ogre are like, yeah, we're tanky, we're just going to hit you. And they just man, f man for him. I guess they have Bloodlust as well, level 1, which is how much attack speed. 30, atta 30 attack speeds. Yeah. Yeah, and it synergizes with Roy's Bash of the Deep as well. So they just went for the. We're just going to bash the crap out of you. Play. I mean, if if I was Jack, I would have thought we're fine. I'm going to Blade Fury. We're going to do loads of damage. But I, I was really surprised when he died. It looks like there was already oh, a kill. How can there be a one minute kill? What? Blasted core. Can you get a kill solo on someone when you're level probably two? How did that happen? Probably just landed the split, I guess. But but still, <laughs> that's quite quick for a first blood. Jeez. Yeah. I think wow. uh, Max probably do creep aggro, got stunned, there was quite a lot of creeps in the I way. wish I saw that, but you know, I don't usually look mid till about 3 or 4 minutes in, or I just have a quick peek. But I, d I don't think Necro does very well into Leshrac, because Leshrac is yeah. all about doing magic burst, which Lesh Necro is much better against the physical carry. So they're going on to Cosmic... Oh my god, bash on Cosmic Top, Jesus. Yeah, he is yeah, going to get I'm away. worried that because of this early start, that the advantage is to the Radiant. Jack's going to have a very good lane on this Juggernaut. But Ollie's going to have a good lane mid. Conversely, yeah. so it's that's two lanes that are pretty much you know, one other team's favorite. That's a lot of damage. Oh my god, Earth. Ollie missed like three times on that range. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage is Split Earth doing? 180 damage. Yeah. Only has a nine second cooldown as well. But I think Necro's going to be okay. He's already got the stick. He actually started with the stick. And he's got a salve, so he's going to be able to outreach. Him. I actually think Necro will do okay. We're going to see. If he doesn't keep dying, see if he to gets Ollie. an early point in Ghost Shroud or not. You might yeah. just skip it because it's against the Lesh, but it's, the regen is still valuable, it's the mana regen as well. It just means you can use it to hide under your tower and get the 75% regen, which I think is worth mm. it. Necro is an interesting lane because the higher skill your opponent is, the harder Necro um, has. I mean, I don't know that kind of goes without saying, but because if your opponent is better at last hitting and denying than you, Necro really suffers. But if you're, a, if you're good at last hitting, Necro has a fine lane. He almost died again. About 40 HP he got to. Gonna have to salve himself up. Ollie playing so aggressive, but he's completely out of mana already, and all use all his bottle charges. These are three really aggressive lanes, actually. You've got a Slardar, Uga up in top lane, who just wants to hit the Juggernaut. Bot lane, you have Weaver, who's playing aggressive. You also have a Beastmaster, who's also playing aggressive. Looks like we've got, got a fight of... going on top. Roy's just man-fighting again. They're like, Jack, we don't care. I can stun you through your Blade Fury. JC unfortunately doesn't have enough to kill Jack, but he has to go away on 70 HP. He's got no healing ward. Only one Tango left. There's no salve on Jakiro. And obviously, point, actually, the, the bash is physical damage, so it doesn't matter about the Blade Fury. The extra damage will go through the uh, spin. And Slardar's not a squishy hero, so he doesn't mind taking some Blade Fury damage. It's still a lot of damage, but... <laughs> He's got a Bracer already. <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> um, <laughs> Beastmaster's got two Brown Boots queued up. <laughs> One for each foot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the role-playing build. Necros <laughs> actually has more last hits than Ollie. Not sure how that's happened. Ollie is really desperate for the rune. It's going to be a guess. That's not the situation you, you want. He do. loses the guess. I hate the guess. It's like Sod's Law or something. Illusion. Whenever you have to guess, you always lose. Oh, yeah. Has happened. Apart from when it's the, the opponent, in which case they always win. And then I flame. Yep. Then I just go, oh, for fuck's sake, always lose. Uh, Ollie yeah. needs to be careful here. He's basically been completely poked out of this lane now. And he's probably going to have to stick around for the battle. Oh, but... Drekken's heading mid. Oh, what okay. can they do? Ollie has nothing. Unless they can trap Max under the tower, it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything. Ollie should have sent Ollie's... more regen. You know, he should have sent Mango, yeah. Salves, Clarities. That's what you do in mid. Yep, you have to spend some gold, but you spend gold to win the lane. 
Yeah, because he's holding out for uh, for the bounty runes here, but once he uses his bounty rune, he'll still be on an empty bottle. Right? Looks like we're going on Jack again. He has the Blade Fury. They just stun him and just hit him to death. He got about half of the Blade Fury off before he was, you know, just mauled to death by these two big boys in top lane. What a strong lane. We don't care if you Blade Fury into us. We're just going to kill you. But Chops is, is going to secure both the bounties. It's a good good thinking by him, good timing. Well, he gets ignited. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got stack. Got, got Here comes the sprint. Oh. oh, I missed that bot. Was too busy looking at top. Chop6 manages to get both the bounty runes, but I think he's going to go down. He does have TP out. Is he going to TP? No, he can't because he's just going to get bashed with the deep. Out comes the stun. Out comes the second stun. They don't have boots, whereas Jakiro does, but yeah, he's still going to go down. But at least he picked both the bounties first. And what was the kill on the bot lane? They killed top. Um, on Beastmaster. Okay. It's a bit of a rough lane for Beast, actually, because the whole point of Beastmaster is the force slow, but Weaver just hits W and doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. Slow? What's a slow? And he has to put up with Skyrath as well. Being and he might arcane. die again, actually. Oh, yeah. It looks like he's low. He's being chased. Brex, one more Arcane Bolt. Oh, <gasps> yeah, just gets the kill. Is that what you do as um, a su support Skyrath? You actually max Concussive Shot. I guess it makes Believe sense. Me. Mana cost hardly scales. The, it's a lot of damage. The extra slow duration, I guess, is what he's going for. Yeah, I think that makes perfect sense. I mean, look, the mana goes from 80 to 95, but it still does 280 damage. To do a 280 damage nuke on 95 mana, that's that's a bargain. Cool, didn't realise that. He knows the hero better than I do, which is understandable. He has played support Scarath a few times. I think that's the nice thing about Sky Support, yeah. is you can level any of those abilities depending on the matching the matchup you're against. If they just want to run people down, leveling W probably makes sense. If you want to Drekken's out, here, you but are they able to kill JCA? Oh, Ollie's turned up. I think Veteran's too late, and his support is dead. Veteran just walks back to lane. Your desolation and the world it's another kill for Ollie. Ollie picking up Infuse Raindrops is a very good item against Necrophos. Obviously he's only got two spells that do magic damage. So he's been negated a lot. Brex is nearby. Do they have the burst he's to kill Ollie? The stack. Oh, that's <laughs> a big fat stack. What is that? At least three creeps. Ollie's going to go farm it. He's farming it with Pulse Nova, which he immediately took. It's too late. He's got that. That's an instant three stack taken. Ooh. Rex didn't even know that Ollie went to take it and he's, he didn't get any of it. Oh, now they're here. Are they going to kill him? Yep, there comes the scythe. And Ollie is dead. Oh, that's a good combo. At least, at least know that he uh, got the stack before he died. If they kill him there, then the stack goes to the max. Yeah. yeah, true. That's not fun. You're right, he got the stack. I'm just thinking of the combo of Skyrath Necrophos. He puts on the Ancient Seal. Even at rank 1, it's 30% more magic damage taken. Then you scythe yeah. him. Bam. It's great for the scythe. Yeah, I was just checking that's everyone's damage and not just his damage. That yeah, it does say just more damage from spells. Being yep. attacked. I wonder if uh, they, I mean they're going to need glimmer capes, right? I wonder if Ollie will build one himself this game. Dyer's middle tower is under Ooh, attack. He could go a hood. An early hood. Would a lot not of Leshrac used to build. When remember when Leshrac mid was like the meta, a lot of Leshracs were building glimmer capes. But oh, I don't that's know interesting. If will go one. I think he might go a hood. Hood of defiance. I think that could be worthwhile. It would be, I think, some kind of. Magic Beef would be pretty good for this match. They do have a lot of early game magic damage on the Radiant. Yeah, they definitely do. Draken hasn't been able to participate in that many kills. Just the one kill we had invis and killed JCA. JCA has now been gone on top. Are they going to be able to take him down though? He's still got Blade Fury, but here comes Roids. He's used his sprint. He's with Bloodlust as well. He is fast. But Draken's running around in haste. It's 3v2. Okay, there's another one. Brexit TP. Brexit is level 6 Skyrath already. Okay, looks like they do manage to pick off JCA. Are they going to lose Jack? Yep, their core is dead. We've still got Brex. Drekken has just lost his haste. Looks like we're kind of not sure who we need to go on. Oh, Royce has cut down the tree. They're not going to go in any further. I'm amazed Brex managed to get level 6 so early. He might kill Rich here. Dyer's bottom tower Rich has boots at least. Yeah, he does kill him. Well played. I guess if you max out concussive shot, you're going to get more of a slow percentage. Looks easy like to land your one tower bottom's going to go from Ross and his... Oh, Beastmaster denies it with the oh, boards. Denied. Yeah, double board denied. Nice. Very nice. Easy. Well, it's, it's never a good start oh, for Jack S. I, I, like, just yeah. Jack is having a very. Yeah. I mean, we've seen him to do some really good games as a core player. So, but he's struggling. We've got to give credit to the people he's playing against. Okay, there's a nice die award there. As you can see, it gives them full vision of the radiant. They know they're being gone on. Got a tri lane sort of situation top lane. And a level 6 Skyrath, he's almost got Mystic Flare ready again. They're really trying to squeeze the pressure onto Jack's Juggernaut. You know, keep him down, keeping without farm. 
Yeah, I'd like to see Tom maybe try and push bottom, but can he really lane against Ross's Weaver? I don't think he can. <laughs> Problem is, is that they're losing the 1v1s, and then it allows the Radiant to put this pressure onto the Juggernaut, where he really wants to be able to farm. Yeah, he's not having an, an easy early game. We've seen Brex. He gets the silence off. Mystic Flare doesn't quite connect, so I don't think Drekken's going to go down. We get another stun. We've got Fissure as well. Out comes Fissure. Drekken's quite low. He's going to be careful. Brex is such a fast hero. Healing wards come out. They're not able to kill it. JC is chasing it like a little, <laughs> little horse trying to get the carrot. But he does get it. Is he going to get away? He's a relatively fast hero with Bloodlust. Jack doesn't have results. We can't commit that. Four dire heroes top. We do have the Beastmaster up. They're just yeah, going to get up. Yeah, in, but they didn't roar anybody. So he's essentially wasted his rotation. Ross has now taken the bot tower because of this, and is already putting pressure onto the tier two. Ollie's got a regen rune, so walking around with pulse snow from. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about the glimmer cape on the left rack, and it's actually super value this game because if you the weaver goes on you on his own without dust, you can just purge off the bug with the glimmer cape. Slim Cape Purge. Oh, it looks like we've committed everything for Veteran. He is definitely going to go down. We're saving Split Earth. I don't know why we waited so long. He actually managed to get a big heal. Almost Scythe Strecken, but he doesn't. I don't know why Ollie was holding the Split Earth for so long. But oh well, they got the kill anyway, so it doesn't matter. Radiant should really do something about that middle tower. Oh yeah, Purge was probably the wrong word. It just if you're invis, the bug will fall off you. Oh right, okay, got it, got it, got it. And they nearly killed Jacked up again. He's level six. Has he got Omni Slash? He does now. No, he doesn't know. He's put a healing ward down. <laughs> That's a lot of mana healing ward, 140. He didn't swap to int treads to use it, so. What a noob. Shovel. Nice side. I'm already super scared for Dyer this game. Ross's Weaver is. He's doing the classic Ross thing again. He's farming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hasn't got any. He's a one kill. The tier two as well, and he used the scan in their jungle here, and then he just backed when it oh, went red, so. Off we go, back he goes to the jungle. They've and... trapped in JCA. Do they have the means to kill him? Ice Path misses. Now he has no mana for Jewel Breath. Roids has been found by Ollie. Ollie does a lot of damage early game. We've got the Blade Fury as well. That's going to be a kill. Ollie's going to take that. I would have loved him to leave that for Jack. Yes. Juggernaut is struggling. He needs to any kill he can get. Well, look at the level of him. He's level 6. He's the lowest level in the game apart from his level 5 Earthshaker. He has to deal with a level 9 Weaver and a level 10 Necrophos. Oh, They're going so for Brex mid. Break. I think Brex is going to go down. He's going to try and turn and one shot Rich. Has he got the means to do it? Almost, but not quite. Jakira is quite a tanky hero. Three strength game for a support, which is very rare. <laughs> Where did all of them, Ollie's mana go? <laughs> Where has he used it? Uh, well, he pulsed over, really. He's got the oh, jelly now. Question mark. Question. Are we going to kill Jack Top? We've got the stun, and we've got another stun. Okay, we have the Omni Slash. And he's not going to do much against these incredibly durable heroes. Oh, we've got Veteran here as well. He's got a double damage rune. I felt like he should have just dived. I don't know why he didn't. It looks like they are still right, diving. Back. He's running in. He's going to get the scythe. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye. Bloodlust movement speed on Necrophos allows us to catch up. <laughs> yeah, Bloodlust. Rich is walking in on no mana. Oh, goodbye, Rich. You're going to die. Double damage, veteran. Just running around getting free kills. You wither on the vine. They're going to run at Ollie. Ollie doesn't have very much mana here. Uh, they're going to back off. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not liking this for Dyer right now. They just don't really have anything to counter these best, chunky boys walking at them. Good. No, they do not. Finish the Detalator as well, if you want to. Yeah. No. I think that the Radiant Draft is fantastic. Like picking something like a Skyrath support gives you all that damage, but then you've got an Ogre and a Slardar, so you've got both the front line, you've got the crowd control, and you've got the burst. And you've got a Weaver who's just basically unkillable, so Ross can just farm and not worry about being killed. Yeah. So like they're doing all of this essentially 4v1, uh, 4v1, yeah. Like, is a four, four man four team? Five. Yeah. Yeah. And then one day they'll go, oh, we've won a fight. And then Ross will turn up at like level, yeah, exactly. level 18 with like uh, four items and just one shot everyone. And you'll be like, oh, yeah, the Weaver. Or well, now they've realized it and they think, right, we're going to try and kill Weaver. We might snipe his courier. Oh, Tom's here. Use the raw. There's the raw. Where's the rest of the committal? Ice pass. Okay, they've overlapped the crowd control quite a lot. He's just going to go for it. He actually gets a kill and walks where They brought four heroes bot and he's going to get away with a kill. That is unfortunate. Dyer's middle tower is under yeah, attack. Miscommunication on the no follow-up. Sun is Fisher and Ice Fire to the, the same time, and Ross. We'll do what Weavers do. Weavers do. I don't think it was miscommunication more than, like, Ross should have just no waited. Jacket should have wa watched, shouldn't he? Because he oh, saw that the Ice Path is coming out. They're going to go on better, and they pop the Macro Pyre. And there's the Ice Path. I don't think he took a lot of Macro Pyre damage. No, actually, he's got a Hood of Defiance, so he is tanking up. 
Regeneration. What's Ross actually managed to get? No Ross He's is going to go kill Jack. He's actually decided to go for Desolator oh and then God, David. Oh, we've got a fight down here. Rich is going to go down. Oh, Reuters now in. Use your amplifier damage. What's it called these days? Corrosive Haze. Oh, he actually needs to run. He's got Blink soon. All He's right, being cancelled by the boar constantly. Oh, JC just pinches the rune. Can't look at Jack Tox. There's too busy fight going on down here. Looks like Jack has died to Ross. Meanwhile, the fight's still going on. Out comes the multicast. We actually got side. Is that enough damage to kill Beastmaster? No, it's not. He was a little bit too overzealous there. But look at Brex doing so much damage. Roy's blinks back in. Pops the corrosive haze, and now they're going to run back, I think. And while Ross enjoying yet another solo kill and some food Yeah, he's farm. six hit Jack yeah, on the, on the demo. He's not six levels higher than him as well. Oh. Six levels higher. That is <laughs> not what you want to see. Yeah. Level seven Jug, level 13 Weaver. Oh, If Jack dear. was calling GG last game, I don't even know what he's calling right now. <laughs> yeah, same. Oh, dear. Yeah, this is, oh. a, this is a bit of a stomp. Yeah, Ollie's and got five kills. The kills don't even but... look that far apart. The yeah, it looks, looks kind of like 60, 14 to 6, but it might as well just be like 20 to 0. Ooh, Brex trying Brex to go for more solo pickoffs. I don't feel like as a Sky of Support you should skip boots entirely. At least get rank 1 boots, come on. I know you're a fast hero, but... And Ollie's doing what he can. Look how much damage Ross is doing to him. They kill him almost instantly. Yeah. JCA, you've gone a little bit too far. I think you're going to give a kill to the Dire, which is what they need. But, okay. Space created, I guess. I just need to hold out for another nine minutes and then Ross will feed his kill streak away. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. At the 25 minute mark, he rewards them with the free kills. I mean, you are not wrong. They, I mean, they have the means to kill him and he's not building tanky at all. He's building f pure damage. And look, he's got the Crystalis now. Crystalis Desolator. He's also got Broom Handle, which is an interesting item for Weaver to have. I guess it's 12 damage, 3 armor. It's just there's nothing really better for him to take. Yeah, three armors, okay. The, uh... Yeah, I mean, his alternatives are Trusty Shovel or Ironwood Tree. He already has the Jelly, so that's their tier one. There are tiers spawning now, though, so I'm sure he'd love himself probably a Band Brace this game. Clumsy net, a bit more crowd control for the Weaver. Yeah, it's a nice piece of right item. Looks like he's sent it back. Was it two base, seconds though. on the net? 1.75, okay. He picked up by somebody. It's a good sure Skyrath item. item. Oh, it's got to go, it's got to go to Skyrath. Give it to well, Skyrath. It was on the other team, but now they have their own. Yeah, they've got their own one, so now, now they have to take it. I mean, it's so good yeah, on yeah. Skyrath, because it means you don't even need to get the full Atos yet. Which it, is still a fair bit away. It literally is budget Atos, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. But it's it's just enough him to kill a support. Because Mystic Pro only takes 2.4 seconds. How long is so, the net duration? Like 2? 1.75, so it's, it's most of it. And then you have to try and run out of it as well. There's the Van Brace. Ross will be very happy with that one, I think. Going Bloodthorn. Is he going to swap the Van Brace in or just leave it Brace as a backpack? Back has seen better days. <laughs> Come on, Ross, you can do it. They're thinking about Roche, actually. Yeah, Roche is going to start it up. They have the amp damage and the Weaver Death. So oh, he's gonna... taking the Aquila. Uh, I guess that makes sense. I'll give the vet uh, veteran the, uh, the Van Brace for the extra damage inside. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Or a little bit of extra tankiness, see what he decides to do. Oh my god, they have bugs, desolator, and amp damage. This roach is melting. It looks like an Earth is hitting it with like 10 stacks. I do not want to go near this Weaver right now. Looks like they're going to catch out Dracula Ross will run through. Three hit dragons. Oh my god. Oh will also die basically one hit. He's going to die for more. He's three levels up on the left track here. On. Radiance oh, he's gonna tower is under out. attack. That's not gonna hold. Oh, he's always used. Wow. Get vision. Oh, that's not good. Get Chris, he keeps getting fogged. There we go. There's a stun from Royce. They've got somebody here. They're gonna five him in fact. Oh, Ross is coming oh, with the orchids. orchids. Oh, die. That is a shame. Oh, oh dear. I don't think it matters too much. I'd be more worried if that was like Ollie's or kill or something, but he's not going long. I mean, that fight was a disaster. You know, if, if the Ross is basically unkillable at this point. He still has the Aegis, but if they don't pop absolutely everything they have, they're not going to be able to kill him. And so he can get away with building basically pure damage. Wait, what happened to his Problem Crystalis? Is then you have a, you have a Necropos as well, who's actually going Radiant. So like he's got the but, Relic but Lord as well. He had a Crystalis. Where's it gone? Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Did he sell it? 
Oh, he's going Bloodthorn. No, yeah, he's going. He's going Bloodthorn. He, the Orchid was on the courier. Oh, he. And it done. But did he Where's put the crystal? Did he put the crystals back on the courier? I'm not sure. Where's his crystal? Where's he sold it immediately after, after buying it. Oh, we got some very uh, astute people in the audience. Oh, it looks like Brex got a kill. Wait, what? Brex killed Juggernaut by himself. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh no, Ross. Ross is here. I didn't actually didn't pick that up. Why would you sell it? Um, well, obviously he, he bought it and sold and it also, for... if you sell it, doesn't it appear in the quick buy? Again. Maybe it's on the courier still. We'll have to find out when his courier is alive in 80 seconds. Radiant have smoked, but I think they, they were a little bit lost of what to do right now with the smoke. They're still, they haven't left their tier 3. <laughs> yeah. They're struggling. They, they did also miss Ollie with the smoke. Rutherford isn't built with Crystalis. Yes. Oh no, it isn't anymore. Oh, it used to be. Oh, no, yeah, almost yeah, certainly it used good. to be. Okay, I didn't even realise it was changed. Looks like we're going to find a kill on Chopsticks. He is being gone on. Oh, okay, no, they popped their ult on Brex. They used to overlap stuns just a little bit. I think he's still going to go down. Yeah, he is dead. Are they going to find JCA? Ross is still around, but does he want to engage knowing that he's so outnumbered? Maybe he does. Yeah, he'll go Get on. stunned. He'll go on. Out comes the Macropire. They're still chasing JCA. No, they're going to let him go away. There was a smoke from Chopsticks. He's just trying to save himself. Ross doesn't have much mana, but he's running around. Okay, so they, they go away with just one kill. Or maybe two. Because he popped oh. the f he still oh. gets away. They popped the full Omni Slash, but it's only rank one. Oh, that is so tragic. Oh dear. JC, oh how did you get away God. with that? I, that was hyper blob sweat. Oh dear. Oh, Jack, I don't know how Jack S is feeling at the moment. Well, we don't know. I, mean, I, I don't know much about him, but he seems like a relatively calm guy. Yes. This level 17 Weaver, though, it's just. Just nasty. Look, he is five levels of now four levels up on the next here on the die. And Max has a radiance on the necro. Radiance yeah, another thing you have to try and deal with, right? It's not a it's not a brilliant necro post radiance game, but it's, I mean it's a super nice item. Yeah, why not have it? I guess. Radiance yeah. When you're this far ahead, you can really get away with it. I would have almost liked to have seen him go like the blink mighty build and just I like would, blink yeah. and hold someone. I would have gone blink. Yeah, maybe blink even E blade. You can go, which is funny. Amplifies yeah. the damage on your ult, so you can burst someone quick. Not really yeah, because it's not like these fights are like really long engage fights. If the if the radiant are going in, they're bursting someone. Oh, we're going on an Ollie. Do you have the means to kill him? He uses himself for safety, but he is low. And he gets nice multicast done, but Rosk actually gets the kill, probably with a bug. Oh, he's got a Bloodthorn, no wonder there's so much damage. You can't mess up hell with a Bloodthorn. I mean, Ollie, I think yours it off, but... you seen the damage on Bloodthorn, like, just the stats he's of going it. For... Ross is going to chase Jack down here. And if he Bloodthorns him, he's dead. He does have TP, uh... so he's going to have to TP straight home. He's not going to find him. going to hunt him? No, he's not even I hunting him. Ross... I guess he's just putting pushing the wave in. Veteran is going to start sieging the top tower. Attack. It has no arms to what do we have? Do we have ults? Yep, we do have the Primal Roar. We don't have Ross. Ross is just pushing the bot lane. Oh, he's coming in now. Finds a stack. He's like, I'll take that. Ooh, Ancient Stack. Even better. Going a BKB now. Just playing the defensive play on the Weaver here. Get the item that basically makes him unkillable. Yeah, well, after he's got two massive damage items, why not? Right, see if they can go high ground here. The Aegis is going to run out in. Do we have a timer seven for it? Seconds. Oh, is it five? Okay, is it five minute duration? Yeah. Wasn't sure if it's five or six. Are right, we going to see it yeah. time out now then? Big yeah, fun. there it is. It does apply a very fast regen, which is always nice. Didn't used to do that. That's something. It used to last a lot longer. I just think it used to last the full ten minutes. Back in the oh, days, no. Roche was also 10 minute duration. 10 minutes? 10 minutes? What? Yeah, it lasted as long as the Roche was up. That There's was no a while ago. On this Weaver. He's gonna get Oh, yeah, he gets stunned. Are they going to be able to kill him? Chop 16, what he can. They're on the run. Out comes the Roar. It's all right. Nice ult from Drekken. Is it enough? Oh, the Omni Slash is going through. Is it going to pick off Ross? Ross is low. Yeah, Ross actually has gone down. And so is Veteran. Keep chasing. Are they going to find JCA? I mean, Roy is well gone. They're gonna find him, yours him in time. Yep, there's the yours. Ollie reacts quickly. Out comes the stun. Brex is nearby. I think Brex just needs to leave. Well played. Okay, okay. The die, uh, they get a nice, nice ult from Drekken. 25 yeah. minute mark, you know? I was gonna say, it's a minute earlier than we expected, but that's a throw. <laughs> yeah, Ross is early today. <laughs> well, it's not quite a throw, but it's, this is definitely what the die need. I mean, they've, they've taken no tier ones. Is that a necro book? Yeah, on the oh, Beastmaster, um, Beast right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which makes sense. 
just, just yeah, nice. Rex went for nice a very, odds. very early time lapse and basically time lapse back in further Ooh. into the enemy. Rex is trying to go for a pick off. He does actually get to Kira just with the simple net combo, but oh, the Dyer is still going in. Roy just chasing Ollie. Is this going to be a turnaround? They don't even have their cores here, but they're still going to get some kills. Rex chasing Ole. Is it going to be enough to kill him? Yeah, it is. That's so unfortunate. They had such a nice lead. They finally got a three-man pick-off in a team fight, and then immediately two of their team die. Just straight away. Pretty much just to Brex and Royds. Yeah. I, I guess yeah. the uh, tag wasn't interested in pushing mid. He's gone down, farmed out bot lane. Ross is hunting him, though. Does he oh, see that scan? He will see that. He sees the healing wards, so he knows he's nearby. He's going to kill the healing ward, that's 75 gold. Away. Yeah, you can't stop the TP out. I mean, Brex was caught and he just turned around and insta-killed Cosmic. Yeah. <laughs> he just walks off like, oh well. Yeah, who caught who really in that situation? Yeah, you need yours when you're against Skyrath. Also means you can purge off his silence. Yeah, it's right. nice. and we're going back to sieging. I know they lost the first siege because of the ults, but we've not got Echo Slam this time. Okay, we're doing a lot of stun on JCA. That's going to be cool. They actually popped the Beastmaster's Brawl for it. I guess it's only 80 second cooldown. They're thinking, yeah, any kill we can get is good. They need to this leave their the, base, though. This is the classic, we're strong, we can push. Oh, wait, we haven't got our calls. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Both uh, Necro and Weaver down in bot, bot triangle. They're still missing a tier 2 jungle item, the Dire. That's how little they've been out and been able to farm. I mean, look at the last hits. It's really tragic what they managed to pick up. They're miles behind in farm. They're just being choked. They can hardly leave this area. All oh, they smoke. Let's see if they can do something. Yeah, they did scan the Weaver here, but obviously it's a Weaver. And he's... They're going to go for Ross. They have vision on him. He's going to go pick up that bounty room. They can't see him anymore. They're going to oh, go blind. They have no wards on the entire map, so they're going to have to go blind into the jungle. How do you catch him? Oh, you Ross at the camp! Him from they find him. Are they going to be able to get him? And they get the stun off. Yep, that's definitely going to be a kill. They pop everything for it, even the full Omni Slash. They're like, we need this kill. Yeah, that's it's mega worth it. Mega worth it. Oh yeah, it was. But they had absolutely no vision going completely uphill into the darkness, and they still managed to get a pick off on the solo weaver. So I think that's Ross's fault, really. But yeah, Dyer will take that. It's like that, it's like that meme with Ross taking the camp as an anti mage if, instead of running away. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Double damage. I mean, Jack's still four levels behind Ross, but any little bit helps. Oh, it looks like Royd's got the double damage. He's going to try and go on chop six, but his entire team are there. Out comes a bit of a mismatch of CC, but we still get the stuns. Lots of stuns going on. I think they may have overlapped them just a little bit, but look how much CC this team have. That's another pick off. Both the Moor brothers picked off by themselves. Dear, oh dear. Every single kill that I get, the harder it is for Radiant to push their advantage high ground now. They're still massively ahead in net worth. Like, Ross is still 6k ahead of anyone on the die. Uh, maybe once the Weaver gets the BKB though, this game gets even harder, because all their CC does obviously require the target not to be magic immune. Yeah, as soon as the BKBs go up. Do you think we'll see a BKB on Necrophos? No, he doesn't look like he wants it, he's going for auras. Yeah, I don't think people build it on Necro, but do you feel like Ghost Shroud is enough time hitting to them. save you and the massive amount of healing you have? But actually yeah. I would love to see a BKB on this. Is there anything like even Sanj and Kaya Radiant's on Necro? Because I'm just thinking maybe status resistance you can get instead, because yeah. there's a lot of crowd control. And you don't want to go there's satanic, do you? Heaven's Halberd? Oh, satanic on Necrophos. I mean, you pop... Actually, it's very anti synergistic because you want to pop W to heal, but then... Okay, you, you know, can't get any satanic hits on. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Doesn't work at all, does it? Oh, they find him. This is going to be yet another pick off. Okay, pops the Ghost Shroud. He's spinning. We don't have any nullifier, so... Oli, Oli used the Ghost Shroud to try and remove the debuff, but actually wouldn't he want him to be in Ghost Shroud? Because it's less So Oli, yeah, can just stand next to him, pulse over him to death, yeah. Yeah, and Jack would just spin on him, so... But good team, he's out. Yeah, they just disengage. But I like that they realise, oh, we're not going to kill him, so they instantly TP'd out so they didn't yeah. get caught up in all the, uh, the follow-up. So well played. And they're going to be able to get out and get some items now, everyone hitting jungle. See what they managed to get. They both, both teams recover their own outpost. There's a circle drawn by uh, Beastmaster, by Tom. I don't know what that signifies. Juggernaut's now level 16. Oh, they, okay, they can see the enemy team. So is playing defensive. Ross is in the jungle though, he needs to catch up. He's got his full BKB that's being sent. Of course, that does mean he has no buyback if you manage to pick him off. I don't see how you pick off Weaver. Actually, no, it's easy. If you can get the stuns off before his BKB, that's going to be it. Well, wow, they're doing a lot of damage to Ollie. That's just Roy's by himself. He's bought no damage items yet. And he can take less rack to half health and about three autos. 
That is scary. He instantly God. lost the healing ward. 60 second cooldown on that jug ability. What's the cooldown? 60. 60. Ooh. That's a long cooldown. Guess it is a pretty strong move, isn't it? Mm, very, very good healing. Yeah, 5% a second. They're going to walk straight through a ward into Rose to the die. Definitely know. I'll be really pissed if they now scan it. Because they <laughs> definitely, definitely know it's there. <laughs> okay, they're not going to scan it. They actually even got themselves an outpost on the die. So Rose is instantly dead. Goodbye. Oh, so now you have to deal with the Weaver who's not only got time lapse BKB, but he also has the Aegis. I guess he did have it once before, but they didn't do anything for about five minutes. <laughs> the only nice thing is that if Ross just, it's like if they send Ross alone to hit high ground, you can change stun him into making him waste the Aegis. The oh, easily. And Reuters gone in. Is he going to kill Chopsticks? They've popped the full Omni Slash. Reuters actually quite tanky. They're going to split the damage. Doesn't actually manage to kill anyone. Jack has now started spinning, but they can't stop this Ross. He is just BKB and hitting everyone. Ollie's trying to do what he can. But he's going to go down to the Mystic Flare. Okay, there is a TP out to Jack is gone, but that's three kills straight away. They do still have the Echo, he wasn't waiting on the, on the Earth Shaker. But they will have that for the high ground push, but it's coming right now. They're going to need to use basically all three buybacks here. But look at the cooldown on Omni Slash. Still two minutes, so you don't have Omni Slash ready. There's Cheese on Necro. There's still Aegis on Ross. On Necro either. I mean, they've got all their ults apart from Mystic Flare, which is up in 10 seconds. Still got Aegis, still got Cheese, still got... Okay, they have used Pipe. I guess, but it's not looking yeah, it good for the Dyer. Just try and stun up the Weaver. I've been pushing your buildings as fast. Radiant structures they got nothing. That will be the tier 3 going down. Right oh, Broid has gone in. Is he going to be able to kill Ollie? They're doing some burst. He's got his own BKB. I'm not sure he needed to pop that. I guess he was Ollie scared. Ten second as well. Oh, so Roy, Roy and Ollie both have BKBs. I was sort of noting Ollie's one, but I didn't realize Royds has one. That's going to really help him go in. Jack's trying to do what he can. He's auto attacking. He's been silenced, he's going to get rid of that. They've used the ult, are they going to be able to kill Veteran time? He's got the cheese, he pops it, yeah, back to full HP. Out comes Echo, it's a huge Echo. There's a lot of damage going on, are they going to be able to kill Veteran? Yeah, it looks like Royd's going to go down, Veteran's going to go down too. He's doing so much damage, actually gets a kill at the side. Now the big regen's healing him. They can't pick him off, he's going to go, yeah, look at his health regen. How much health regen has he got? Target this man, 50 health regen. He has the Guardian Greaves, there's four buybacks instantly. They're running back into the fight. Four buybacks. I can't believe that he survived. Like oh five kills and four buybacks. That is a four thousand gold difference. That one fight alone. Oh! And Jack runs in, takes so much damage. He has to go back. Tom, I think you're going to go down. You just bought back. The most damage I think was done to Ross in that fight was that Necro book he just killed right then. <laughs> yeah. Was it? Is it tier three? Yeah, it is. He still has Aegis on Weaver. Level twenty-four Weaver as well. Yeah, they couldn't kill Veteran, they were so close to bursting them down, but they just didn't have the reach. All the blood spawn, that's a lot of damage. I'm in your debt. Yeah, I can't say no to guarantee 30% crit, and then another guaranteed 30% damage at the end of that. Uh -huh. That's two lanes, they're just, they just going to rotate top here, they still have 35 seconds do. on the lash. Yeah, Ross yeah. is going. That's going to be it. That's going to be all three racks. Probably the GG. I can't see you coming back for this. When you've not got Echo Slam, I can't see what, they, what they've got. I think it was a fantastic draft from the Radiant. I mean, look at the gold difference, already 30,000 plus. Veteran's just standing in Macro Pie, he doesn't care. Yeah, still got the Aegis for another minute and a half or so. Yeah, got a BKB right. and time lapse up, so I don't think they're going to be able to clean the Yeast Smoke, it goes straight away. Rex just oh, going for, oh, the BM, the BMTP straight after the ult. Doesn't actually kill Jakiro because he four staffs away. Royds is in there. Ollie's popped to speak at me, but look how quickly he's going down. Here comes the Omnisite. Is it going to be able to do any damage? Nope. Because some of it goes to Veteran. Ross just time lapses. Still got BKB and Aegis. And now the Dyer are treating into their base. Chopsticks is going to go down. So is Drekken. They're now hitting him in their base. Tom dies to Ross. Royds is inside the base. And they're just diving it. I think Veteran might go down. No, nope. he can just pop Ghost Shroud. Do they have the damage? They're trying to do what they can. They got so much healing as well. Guardian Greaves plus Necro. Out comes the Scythe. Ollie will go down. And there's the GG. Yeah, really strong performance from the Radiant. Ross just got to do Weaver things and they didn't really have any counter. That game was nowhere near as close as the last game because we can look at 20 minutes, we're already seeing quite a steep net worth difference. Oh my god. It's it just pretty, even from 10 minutes, it was already starting to build and build and yeah. build. So, I mean, let's have a look at the player net worths. 
you can see that the top two heroes, Weaver and Necro, they stay ahead the entire game and they never really get closed in on. Just up and up and up and up and up. Go so steep by the end, it's ridiculous. Yeah, Weaver is one of those heroes when he's really far ahead. He, he goes very glass cannon in the beginning and it's like the optimal time to shut him down. But if you don't, he then becomes this unstoppable monster. And that's exactly I mean, exactly they did have was. really good control for him, but that, by that point, they were already too far behind once they were starting to land the good combos. They did manage to kill Ross a couple of times. That 25 minute mark again, Ross needs to stop being uh, being so aggressive, but uh, it didn't really affect their 20, 24 minutes this time. All it, all it did, right, for him dying at 25 minutes was change the win probability from 97% to 75%. That's all it nice. did. Nice. Oh, and then it went uh, back up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think he only died twice. Once was in that, that team fight where he did get killed, and then another time where they found him completely alone in the jungle, which was a bit odd. Yeah. But after that, he didn't die. And he still had ages, still had BKB. They had no chance of killing him. They didn't have the damage. Unfortunately, Ross Jack has, had, a, had a struggled in that game. You think Ross, for the good Weaver play? I mean, he did exactly what a good position one does. He farmed well, he killed well, and he took buildings. What more do you want? You can't ask for much more. He pretty much did his game. But he did make those two mistakes, to be fair. But he did play well. I mean, yeah, but what, what's an in-house game with Ross? Well, without Ross mistakes. Yeah, True. without Ross mistakes. Uh, yeah, Ross did play well, and he's definitely deserving of it. I think if there was a second one for me, it, it might be Brex, because we've seen him MVP before on the Skyrath, and he just did a lot of work for a, for a position four. Was he position four? Position five. Position four, it looks like. Uh, just yeah. looking at the support contribution, uh, which is very little <laughs> for the Radiant. They didn't really need it. Uh, but yeah, he got lots of pickoffs by himself. I think he killed Jack by himself. This is a throwback to when Naga was killed. You know, he soloed a Naga Siren core. So, yeah. Yeah, when you're fed on Skyrath, though, you are basically an on-level with enemy cores. It's not that not that difficult, but... But there aren't that many supports. I think, I think, to kill a core. I think he was more benefiting off the, the strength of his team and why he was strong more than the, the Skyrath being a strong. Well, we can give it to Ross then. Yeah, I think you nice. need, I think we can't not give it to Ross. Was so dominant this game that I don't think we can not give it to him.